It's a bull. And good morning. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. I uh, got the live Deerfield Beach cam up, and man, I, I had to put this up today. I was going to do a beach thing, but uh, the water clarity is just incredible. You hardly ever see the pylons or the uh, coral down there like this. I uh, just saw some snappers go by. I bet you if you watch today, you see some incredible fish. Uh, and by the way, this is the uh, Deerfield Beach live cam. This is a city that's just a little bit north of us. I wish our pier was in this kind of shape and had a nice... Uh, uh, cam underneath it, but no less. Uh, great camera to watch, keep up on your screen. It's like having your very own fish tank. And uh, let's get into the quote of the day. It was the work of opportunist crooks thugs for their own self gain and interest. Uh, and I'm going to see if I can pronounce his name. Kamisis Mara, I believe, might be correct. And I believe he was the, oh my gosh, there goes my brain. See it. Uh, the senility is setting in again. <laughs> uh, Fiji, Fiji, I believe he was a, uh, the original prime minister or president of Fiji. Um, started out as a tribal chieftain, I think. Uh, but no less, uh, this is going to be very true for what we got going on in the uh, markets here. It was the work of opportunists, crooks, thugs for their own self gain and interest, folks. For you watching silver being taken down to this $23 level, there you go. Crooks, thugs, and opportunists. You know, we talk about this all the time. And by the way, this video is brought to you by Comex. CME Group, CME Group is the world's leading and most crooked derivatives marketplace made up of four exchanges, CME, CBOT, NYMEX, and Comex. So uh, if you want to do business with crooks, Comex allows you to do that. So, <laughs> And by the way, that's satire, not really. But uh, satire, okay, it was satire in my opinion. And uh, let's move into and say, meanwhile, in bizarre world. What's happening with the price of metals and silver and gold? Let's take a look here. Um, you know, <clears throat> I see that it looks like it did a little sub-23 thing here earlier. Let me just do a quick refresh here. And we're not done. The day's not over. We still got tomorrow, Friday. It love and, and you know what? The, the beauty of this, the beauty of this is that couple things. Uh, it, they took it well below the averages, well below the averages, and it's not going to stay there. The product demand on the investment level is going to continue to climb. The industrial uses, well, it's tough to say with the industry going the way it is right now, but I still believe industrial uses are going to, silver is going to be in de big, big demand for that. Still is, always will be, actually, in the use in electronics and other things. Uh, and uh, gold, here, the primary thing, gold. It'll follow gold. You know, silver is a tiny, tiny, tiny market compared to gold. Gold is in the trillions, you know, what above ground available gold is out there. It's very hard for uh, uh, banks or big entities to control a multi-trillion dollar market, which is gold. I mean, they do it, man. They can drive it down, but silver much, e silver is what, $50 billion? I mean, uh, for all, if you were to buy all the above ground silver, uh, what is it, 50 billion, I think? Uh, uh, I, maybe I'm way off on that mark, but I know for a fact that this, all the thousand ounce bars above ground are worth less than app or less than Twitter, the Twitter deal that's going on right now. And I think it's, uh, again, less than $50 billion, I believe, uh, in uh, total thousand ounce bars above ground supplies, available supplies. And uh, uh, look at prices, folks. Look at prices. This is clear cut, pure manipulative behavior. Uh, again, you watch my videos, uh, I'll be a broken record today, and you know what the hell is going on out here. Let's take a look at the low, 1873 so far today. Again, uh, midway through Thursday, um, and I, I think I said good morning, didn't I? Yeah, I'm a little late on good morning. Uh, and the high of 1894.91, currently sitting at 1890 mark. Uh, so they busted it below the 8, 1900 level. And again, these are averages, moving averages that they busted the low below. Uh, this. This is collusive behavior, again, by large commercial traders out there and what Ted Butler calls the raptors yeah, that, uh, that go out there and they drive these positions down using uh, spoofing. Listen, most of this market activity that we have saw the biggest damage in was overnight markets, thinly traded markets that nobody in their right mind would sell large amounts into. They don't even keep spoofing. They're not even spoofing anymore. They're letting the bid sit out there. They're letting the shit uh, just so they can. And this is the result of it right here. You know. Their ability to get gold down surprises me as much as it did, but you know, we were kind of a little bit on the high side on gold. I expected gold to pull back, and as I always tell you silver guys, watch gold. If gold climbs 1900, 1950, 2000 again, um, 
silver will ultimately is going to follow it okay gold is the leader it's the bigger market it's much harder for these fuckers to manipulate that market excuse my language that's a midday f word sorry uh and then uh, uh, uh silver again much smaller place much easier to manipulate but uh it's we've been talking about i've talked about this 23 dollar level for quite some time and it's not an original thought by me ted butler talks about the 23 dollar level being where bank of america has a huge huge derivative position uh, that they owe JP, uh, uh, not on the COMEX markets, but I believe this is, well, I don't believe it is, but uh, they owe uh, uh, a huge, uh, potentially a huge amount of silver uh, that they borrowed uh, in owe at the $23 mark, so they got to replace that. So they're probably sitting there overnight spoofing these markets, uh, or entities of theirs are doing it. You know, it's just crooked marketplace, and that's the COMEX casino is the crooked marketplace. So again, looks like a 2295 low from what I'm seeing right here. Uh, and again, 2343 uh, high currently sitting on the lower end. Could we see a bust, a bust down below 23? I think so, but man, I, it's just the ability for them to take it to 2750, which I think it was a high not too awful long ago, correct me if I'm wrong, to down to where we are right now. That is, you know what, folks, it's just pure criminal. And when you look at the overnight charts and you look at the charts and you see when it's done, uh, uh, you, 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 just, you, you can only shake your head and say, is there anybody guarding the hen house other than the uh, the wolf, you know what I mean, the fox himself? Um, th there's nobody guarding the hen house at the uh, COMEX or the CME, especially in the silver markets. But the problem they have, folks, is if the CFTC went in and said that uh, uh, there's, there's, there's wrongdoing going on and there's issues going on here. Um, if CFTC went and did that, which they're not because they're, again, they're either complicit or they're stupid, probably a little bit of both. Uh, then they'd have to admit that the system's been crooked and screwed for years and years. This opens up to a lot of lit litigation. They can be sued for this. You know, if there's proof that they've been doing this, and there's absolute proof, it's just getting the CFTC, getting regulating agencies to even take a look at it and address it. They started two years ago, but since then, uh, they've even turned into a bigger piece of shit agency, the CFTC has. And no wonder, it's run by the Agricultural Board, which is a bunch of people that have no, no clue of uh, commodities markets whatsoever, so we're getting nowhere with that. Uh, in the COMEX, uh, CME Group, again, just a crooked casino. COMEX, CME runs the casino, which we call COMEX. They run these, and they're overnight markets, but wow, man. Uh, it's like I'm preaching to the choir now out there. You folks, you guys, my, my, my listeners that have been around for years know this story over and over. In fact, you're probably fast-forwarding over this part because it sounds like a broken record again. However, uh, Again, meanwhile, in bizarro world, <laughs> it continues to happen. Uh, platinum uh, hanging on to that $900 level, up in the green a little bit, palladium in the green, uh, gold in the green, silver not quite so. Uh, so let's see what happens uh, tonight in tonight's markets. Uh, and meanwhile, let's take a look at uh, last night's markets, the 24-hour charts. And this is, uh, uh, again, this is Thursday line, this is Wednesday line, and the blue line is Tuesday line. And as you can see, uh, there's your gold price right there getting whacked. Uh, um, last week it was in the evening markets mostly. Uh, it looks like it was mostly in the New York Crimex markets here uh, that uh, gold got whacked yesterday pretty damn hard. But again, gold's held its own pretty well so far. Here we are kind of up a little bit and sideways with gold. Gold's holding some strength as you can see. We just looked at right there, uh, 1890 in the green a little bit while silver's still showing. Uh, negative activity. Let's take a look at when silver got whacked to over the, look at the overnight markets on silver, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, death of, well, death of a couple cuts. <laughs> but this has been happening uh, for the last two or three weeks now in the evening markets, knocking it down a bit, knocking it down a bit. You know why? Because they tried to do it other ways. The only way they can do it now is spoofing in the overnight markets or some kind of manipulative illegal behavior that is not being recognized by regulatory agencies or anybody uh, I hope these mining companies uh, start waking up and realizing this, along with other people out there that are getting screwed by this uh, manipulative uh, 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 behavior on these markets. Well, let's take a look at uh, uh, what's happening in the other manipulated <laughs> markets. You know, this is the opposite of the silver market. The, the silver market is manipulated to the downside using these big, massive short positions run by these commercial banks in the CRIMEX markets. Uh, uh, the the, the uh, 
Commodities markets and equity markets is the opposite. It's the love market. It's also, why wouldn't it be loved? It's multi-trillions, right? Are we quadrillions, trillions? Who the fuck knows? But uh, trillions. We're in the multi-trillions with the uh, equities markets. And uh, our, our, our uh, economy believes, the people that run our economy, uh, whether you believe it's central bankers or governments or a combination of both, uh, earnestly believe that uh, this market is uh, uh, keeping this market propped up. Uh, like a weekend at Bernie's. This is basically Bernie right now. Bernie's been dead for a little while. The only thing that's keeping him propped up right now is the, uh, the two guys hauling him around. Uh, and uh, who's that? That's the, uh, the government and the Fed. They're hauling Bernie around right now, and Bernie would be the markets. <laughs> that's my opinion. And I believe, uh, again, and I'm not the only one that said this, Pam and Russ Martins wrote about an article, uh, but I, I kind of said it a couple months ago. I believe that uh, uh, when I saw that big thousand point drop and then I seen the huge reversal, I believe that was the work of the plunge protection team. And they're for real, just look up plunge protection team, you'll know who it is, uh, and they do manipulate markets. Uh, meanwhile, inflation date, rate, data, whatever, nothing good. Love this new Trueflation site here. By the way, app trueflation.com. Uh, they don't have fuel and rents on here, which I think would show even uh, the inflation rate even crazier, but they do show the daily living things that you need, food at home, food away from home, uh, categories of importance, they show that. And uh, where is, hold on, let's take a food. Well, hold on, you know what, I was wrong. My, my apology, I think they show, let's see, housing and uh, uh, utilities, and let's see, 45%, uh, current up 1.6%. All right, this is on all the different uh, let's take a look. I'm just curious. Medical care. Oh, there's a scary one. Really not up that much, but 1%, still 1%. Education, down a little bit, no wonder. Uh, personal items and miscellaneous goods. Uh, anyway, great uh, uh, application here that I recommend that you folks get. I think its basis is used to the original CPI rate used back in the 70s and 80s or back when they originally kind of created it. I think they're using the same stuff here. Uh, and it's done on some kind of uh, crypto technology where uh, no one can change it and monkey, you know, monkey around with the numbers here. Uh, cool site. Um, I recommend you take a look at it, probably a closer look than I just did. So, hey, best deals out there are absolutely, uh, uh, the best deal is the freaking price of silver going down like it has. I don't think it's changed the, uh, uh, I don't think it's changed the market dramatically as far as uh, 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 availability and all that stuff. Availability is still pretty tough. Let's kind of see what we're getting on 100 ounce bars, which are the best deal. As you know, I advertise to beat JM Bullion. JM Bullion is a great company, in my opinion. Uh, however, uh, uh, they are not local. So, you know, I'm a local business, and uh, it's like a local hardware store competing with uh, Lowe's. They can do it if they really want to and lower the price lower than Lowe's. But Lowe's does have an opportunity that, that, uh, uh, it, the small hardware stores don't have an opportunity that uh, small coin dealers do. Small coin dealers can buy back from the public much easier than these large operations can. So th the fact that I can buy from the public also, and a lot of local coin dealers are tied in, or a lot of local guys that have been around for a while, like myself, I've been doing this since 1977, are tied in with uh, uh, the precious metals people. You know, it's, it's coin business and precious metal business has been tied into each other for decades and decades since I was a kid. But again, I digress. Best deals out there, 100 ounce bars. Let's see what they're getting for them. Uh, I, I'm not even familiar with that. It looks like they're having a sale as well. Uh, I think right now all I have is a little bit better bars than that. Give me one second here. But let's kind of get a feel here. 26.94, where are we at with the price of silver? Give me one second. 26. 26.94 subtract 23.37 equals $3.57 premium uh, on those as low as, but remember you probably here, let's take a look at $3.57 premium. Uh, if you buy five or more, that's the deal right there. They're actually more closer to four or something plus. Again, I advertise to beat the uh, price of uh, uh, JM Bullion on 100 ounce bars, one ounce bars, 10 ounce bars, and kilo bars. Uh, as far as gold, uh, you know, still the best deal out there. I got a great deal on American Eagles if you want them. Um, I'm a little overstocked in some Eagles, I think, and some other products as well. I got some good deals on that I can beat the pants off of JM Bullion. But even on my cheaper, better products, I can still beat the pants off them. Well, not the pants off them, but I can still beat them. Uh, gold, <laughs> gold bars, I've got a great price on, and I think gold bars are the best deal industry wide across the country. Smallest premium, they should be $80 or less. Um, or $85 or less, I should say. 
Uh, again, we advertise to beat JM and the other big ones out there. Um, eight, American Gold Eagles still probably in that 100 and, yeah, you know, it's a good question. Let's take a look here. Um, and Buffaloes are probably the same. All American Gold coins. Nope, that didn't help me. Random dates, 2002. Let's do some math here. 2002 subtract 1,897 equals $105 premium. Let's see what that quantity is. Oh, not a bad deal. So I can still beat that $105 premium, but they've been higher than that for a little while. But you know, for 105 that's not a bad deal right there. So uh, again, I can beat that price, but it's the best deal I've seen on American Eagles in some time. Uh, as I said though, so the gold bars, $20 per unit cheaper. And for you though, people out there that buy larger quantities, like 100 of these, that's like 2,000 bucks, folks. So, you know, if you're buying one or two, uh, but still, you know, if money's short, why spend an extra $20 that you don't have to? I don't see a big advantage in buying Gold Eagles even at 105 over, uh, which is on sale and a special by them. That won't last long. It won't last long with me. <laughs> uh, hey, we're already here. Let me go forward here, not backwards, uh, into products. But again, Gold Bar is still the best deal. Uh, looks like Eagles for the short term. And what else? Uh, stay away from, again, always stay away from pre-1933 gold for the most part, unless you can buy it uh, like $100 over the melt value or something like that, maybe or less, if possible. But I don't think that's possible right now. GATA.org, for you new stackers out there, this must be on your bookmark bar. They're the guys that talk about how gold is manipulated, who does it. They've been around for a long time, uh, and they talk about the basics and stuff like that up there. Uh, the nearly comprehensive complicity in Martin. Uh, yeah, Ed Steer talks about uh, metals monetary, uh, pr or metals uh, uh, price suppression. We all talk about it. Uh, he writes some good stuff too, though. Uh, Pam and Russ Martin's mega banks are taking, tanking the same one. We talked about that yesterday. So not much new here to talk about uh, other than, uh, hey, man, <laughs> uh, keep stacking at these lower levels. Don't worry about it. Some of you worry that the, uh, you know, oh, well, why am I playing in a, uh, John, I think, I think John's the name of one of the commenters out there. Why, you know, hey, they keep doing this over and over. Relax, John. At some point, they've already let it fly up to $50 twice. Um, well, $50 in 2012, they lost control of it. They're going to lose control of it again. At some point, they're going to have to let go of these positions. The physical is not going to be there for them. There's all kinds of great reasons uh, to look at this as a positive to buy at these lower levels, even though the premiums suck. I admit it as a dealer, the premiums suck, folks. Uh, but no less. Um, you know, there's, there's a saying by my favorite author that says, of course the game is rigged, but if you don't play, you can't win. And uh, the, the, the whole clue of playing in rigged games is you can win in a rigged game. In fact, you got, you're at an advantage when you, when you know how the game is rigged. You're at a huge advantage, even a bigger advantage in the rigger some degree, because you know how they're cheating, you know how they're doing it, and you can sit there and work around it, peck at the edges. You know what I mean? Take advantage uh, when they drop the hammer, you know? Uh, but no less, I uh, want to let you folks realize, hey, relax. It's the same old shit, just a different day. The, the, the price will run up again, and at some point, it's going to run right through the roof. Uh, and I have no doubt about that. I've seen it happen before a couple times. Um, and uh, at some point, this uh, manipulative behavior has got to end because, you know, the, the, the issue with gold and silver is that, you know, you got to have gold and silver. You can't just run this contracts out. You can't just run this paper out there. You can't just... Uh, do these numbers out here and expect people to start to believe it. You know, the growing number of people that are realizing how crooked Comex is, how crooked JP is, how crooked these uh, Bank of America and all these banks have been. Crook, crook, cro uh, you can say crooked and or inept, depending on what entity you're talking about. Uh, it may be a combination of both on some of them, but once you know how the game is rigged, listen, it's going to fall apart on them, folks. It's going to blow up in their faces. So, uh, but no less, hey, uh, let's talk about uh, some things that are going out there in, in, in political world, in the economic world. That doesn't surprise me, overstating millions of users. And uh, uh, yen craters to 20-year low, that's kind of interesting. I'm not quite sure what implication that has on <coughs> uh, the U.S. dollar. Probably good for the U.S. dollar because that's where most people flee to uh, when their currencies start taking a bigger shit. Uh, recession on deck, again, not too much stuff here I want to talk about. Uh, I'm just kind of looking to see if there's any anything. Uh, I haven't updated this in a while. I've been pretty busy not being able to read a lot of these articles. Uh, that's just a shame, man. Why would, why throw gasoline on the, you know, I would think that large, peaceful, democratic nations would band together and get in between the two bullies or get in between the two people fighting. That's what heroes do. You know, uh, 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 egging people on to fight by sending more weapons 
That's what cowards and assholes do, okay? Uh, you know, it, real democratic uh, uh, and real peaceful people and real uh, 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 honest citizens and, and, and people across the world, again, a good person would get in between the two fighters, even if it meant harm to himself, all right? Maybe that's why people are uh, uh, speaking up more, but uh, would get in between these two people. And they have the power and the ability to do it. You, you telling me that Europe, the United States, and the rest of the world couldn't have got in between these, and not in between them in a fighting way, in a peaceful way, in a loving way. And I know that sounds crazy, but in a peaceful way as well. Uh, because peace is about love, I mean, loving your neighbors, all right? Uh, and your neighbors don't always have to live next to you. They can live a million miles away. We're all neighbors on this planet. But no less, what do the assholes do? They throw more gas on the fire, and that's what we're seeing there, in my opinion. Uh, hey, you know, I got an opinion. <laughs> Uh, Russian, all right, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, yeah, where's that money coming from, by the way? Where's that 30 of U.S. taxpayer money? Of course, of course. Uh, there are so many reasons why this is god-awful bad, not including the fact that the, uh, the big man himself might have ties to that region where he received possible money from that region for things that his son did in that region, uh, and that he's destroying that region because, you know, Ukraine is going to go down. Uh, you, you Americans aren't going to go down. Europeans aren't going to go down. You know who's going to go down? Ukrainians. Uh, and, and both sides of this propaganda bullshit war where they pitted one side against the other. They pitted the east side of Ukraine against the west side. Uh, and why? Why? Why are they not making peace? Why are they making war? Why are we, you know, this war is not going to end until the last Ukraine is standing. I think a friend of mine, not a friend of mine, uh, a commander said that. And by the way, I guess a friend, all my commenters are friends. <laughs> anyway, just bad stuff, just bad stuff. All right, let's get out of here. Not too much to talk about gold and silver. It's Thursday. Hey, I'm going on vacation. Um, I'm going to try to keep updated, but it'll be probably a little like couple minute updates for the next week or so, next Friday through, uh, or maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, uh, four or five days or something like that. I need a little break. Um, so I uh, won't tell you where I'm going right now or even if I'm leaving anywhere. <laughs> I think I gave it away a little bit, but... Uh, uh, we will definitely be uh, uh, taking a little break here. And again, I'm going to try to do the show on a daily basis if I can. Uh, yesterday was a silver low end yet. If it's not, in my opinion, it will soon be. Uh, if it dives below 23 at all, 2280, something like that, which I was doubtful it would get to the low 23s. I think and thought thinking. I, I was thoughtin' <laughs> that's, so, that's not something. I was thoughtin' that uh, yesterday we would have maybe seen, uh, you know, 2340, 2330 was gonna stay in that range, bounce back up, but apparently not. But again, folks, if you look at the overnight markets and you look how manipulated these, the small silver market is by these big commercial whales, uh, you understand it. And again, once you understand it, you under, understand how the game is rigged, you get the opportunity to buy at lower prices, except when the premiums suck, which they do, but again, it does still provide you, no matter how you look at it, premiums have been high for a long time, uh, and uh, the product still is a couple of dollars cheaper than it was, all right? So good opportunity to buy the dips, and uh, do not sell into this. Do not fall for this bullshit if you're new in the silver or gold markets. Uh, I'm going to make some comments here. Let me close your eyes if you get motion sickness. I'm going to do this real quick. Uh, lots of comments on yesterday's video. and. Uh, uh, again, let me just see. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone here. I'm not even going to, I always say I'm not going to mention names, but let me try not to here because uh, I've mentioned your names over and over. Uh, I agree with that. <laughs> and uh, the only reason is I don't want to make the video too long, folks. Uh, comments when there, sometimes there are a lot of comments. I can't get to every person. And I uh, hope you're walking home. Yeah, I actually did walk home last night. Funny you said that, Don. Um, had myself two shots of tequila, and boy, that knocked me for a loop. Uh, just when I thought it was the right time to add the tequila, yep, they do pull you back in. Uh, sales tax free, uh, which is good. Florida is sales tax free, Brian Stone. And listen, I encourage all of you folks, uh, nice to see you there, uh, all of you folks to uh, comment down here. If you got specific questions for me, put a couple stars. Question, Brian, you know, uh, <laughs> and I'll try to get to it. And uh, again, like to thank all the commenters. You guys are pretty good. In fact, I like some of the discussion that goes on in my comment group. You guys really have some great discussions. I, I learn from it. And let's see, yep, can't argue with that. 
Uh, I saw the 50 caliber Browning we sent to Ukraine were jamming after two rounds of fire. Yeah, the 50 caliber Browning was probably Korean vintage. You know, that's all they're doing, Rick, is they're just pawning off. Look, javelins and stuff, right? And some other Stinger missiles have been around. E even they just said they couldn't produce Stinger missiles because they don't make the parts anymore. We're just pawning off old, cheap military equipment to these poor Ukrainians that are going to stand out in the field with this shit and get themselves blown up with kinetic weapons by the Russians. I mean, come on. What are we doing to the poor Ukrainians out there? We created this. Oh, anyways, no, I'm not going to go there. All right, thanks for commenting, Rick. Appreciate it. Uh, John, man, relax, relax. This too shall pass. I know I've said that to a couple times to you, but relax. It too, tell, it too shall pass. Just keep sacking on the low low, and uh, one day you'll be happy you did. Um, that's my opinion. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, it absolutely is a proxy. So, um, how many sips does it take? How many sips of tequila does it take to drop a MF bomb? For me, Man, I don't even need coffee to do that, Joe. <laughs> you heard today's video. That's just on three cups of coffee. All right, admit it, four, maybe five. Uh, uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, there you go. That's true. We'll fight the war in Ukraine until we run out of Ukrainians. Isn't that sad, man? This is a proxy war. I keep saying that this is probably the Europeans and uh, 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 United States, uh, deep states, way of paying back Russia for Syria. Think about it. Think about that for a second. Let that stew around in your head. This is probably a Syrian payback. You know what? Could be. You know, tit for tat. Uh, but no less, it's nothing, to, you know, if we were concerned about the uh, Ukrainians and we were truly concerned about the Ukrainian people, we would have stepped in between. We wouldn't have been sending them weapons. We wouldn't have been throwing gasoline on the fire. But again, I'm just repeating myself. And uh, I don't like to repeat myself. I do it, though. If we were <laughs> discommendation and stuff, uh, I guess you have to be a Star Trek person to get that, Don Robinson. I've never heard of that, but I do know who the Klingons are. Kind of respect them in a small, deg small degree. You know, i got to admit, Klingons ha had something going for them. Uh, honor. <laughs> uh, Ray Fernando. Hey, definitely get by when you get a chance. Uh, 2024 gasoline. Hey, listen, that's probably uh, accurate right there. Uh, I think you have a crystal ball, Ray. I, I wouldn't say that would be too far out of my thoughts. Fifteen dollar gallon gas, eight dollar loaf of bread, silver, twenty three twenty seven. It's pretty fucking funny. Uh, no, you, you, Ray, relax again. You, you know, just keep stacking at these levels. It's going to blow up in their faces at some point. I mean, it, it already is. Look how desperate they're getting. They just get more and more desperate, more in your face, more desperate. What does that tell you? When, when people get more desperate, entities get more desperate, it tells you that they're more afraid of dying. You know what I mean? That's what's going to happen to them. They're going to die uh, in this game. Of, uh, <laughs> well, anyways, um, who's guilty? Well, listen, um, government allows it to happen. Uh, CFTC allows it to happen. So they're all guilty. I agree with you 100%. Premium on Platinums, last I looked, it was about 100, 105 bucks over thereabouts. Um, I forget, though, on Platinum Bars. Let me just say 90 to 115 bucks, that's in the range. Uh, but there's got to be platinum out there. Uh, availability is starting to get a little screwy, though. And uh, hey, thanks, Brad. I said the name. Alicia Saw. Those are new names as well. Oh, hold on. Oh, my gosh. Here you go. Another, another asshole spammer. Crypto. Plan your investment with good portfolio advice like expert Rebecca. Uh, go screw yourself, Rebecca. Alicia Saw. And Kate, and these are all the same people commenting on themselves. Nigerians. Well, hang on. I can't blame Nigerians. It could be anybody. And let's just do a quick remove there. And uh, can I think I can remove it here. Let's see here. Yeah, we did a remove. All right. Sorry about that, folks. Well, anyway, why am I sorry? I'm not sorry. They're sorry bastards. <laughs> hey, think for yourself. Question authority. And uh, uh, you know what that means. Been talking about it for uh, almost uh, four months now. This has been the theme of the show. Think for yourself and question authority. And for you new folks out there, that usually means questioning your own narrative first. Hey, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. As you know, we are, if you live in South Florida, we are the people to see when it comes to rare coins, precious metals, uh, 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 and other things. We also do jewelry, artwork, antiques, uh, and other things. But our real, we're a real powerhouse when it comes to rare coins and precious metals. Uh, so come and see us. We're open 10 to 4, Mondays through Fridays. Hey, thanks for watching. Have yourself a good day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. We're and I'll be on vacation, so I don't know how long the video will be. Maybe I'll do it before I go. I don't know. Discuss that tomorrow. Bye now.